I'll be showing you how to make a simple lock, okay? I have everything over here that I have deleted the default cube, the camera, and the light, okay? The default one, okay? So I'm going to press 1, front view, shift A to add uh, anything you want, but it's a locker, so I just use the cube, okay? Uh, which I shouldn't delete. Okay, so I'm going to scale, S to scale to the Z. Something like that would do. No need to be that tall. Just something like that. Kid stuff. Okay. I'm gonna grab that over here. E actually, if you want to grab it over there, it's actually up to you. I'm just gonna position it so I can add my floor. There we go. But I'm not gonna need that yet. So I'm gonna delete. We're gonna focus on this one first. Okay. Here we are. I'm going to go to object, press tab, or you can just press here. I'm going to press tab to go in edit mode, okay? I'm going to delete the face on the front here. Press delete and select face, okay? Now you get that simple, I mean, inner, the inner locker there. I'm going to press N now. Oh, that's not what I want. I'm going to go here, the modifier. I'm going to add the solidify. Here we are, modifier, select the solidify, okay? But before we do that, we need to apply our scale because we uh, we scale this thing. If we're not, if you're not applying, this is what happened. I'm going to show you. It's here. See, like that? If I go to here, if I go even, well, it didn't work very well. So we need to apply our scale first, okay? Select that. Control, make sure in object mode, select, control A, apply the scale, okay? Alright, now we can add some solidify. There we go. I hope this video is not too long because, well, I'm kind of a bit slow here. <laughs> so I'm going to increase the thickness now. Go to here. Go to, maybe increase that again. Yeah, 5 would do. Control A for solidify. Make sure in object mode, okay? And there we go. Simple, right? Let's select all. Make sure in, uh, you're in edit mode. Press A to select all. Press M by distance, okay? So we can see if we have no double double stuff, okay? Double vertices. If there's double, they're going to be trouble. Especially when it comes to painting or something like that. Alright. Now I'm going to go to face select. In edit mode, face select there, we're going to make the the door, okay? So to make the door, you can add a new one, I mean, new default cube, or you can just go to something easier, just select this one, shift D to duplicate, grab that to the Y. Alright, press 1, Let me scale it a little bit, oh, alright. You know what I'm gonna scale manually. Scale X. Bring out that. As what I'm doing here, I need some space, okay? So it fits the door. Not like super fit like this. Okay, now I'm gonna scale it to the Z. Scale it to the Z. Alright, something like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna bring it outside. Grab that to the Y. Alright, now since this uh this boat now is a uh, one object, if I go to object mode, I select this, it's also select door as well. It's way better to separate this, okay? So I'm gonna go to edit mode, select all, press P, and select loose part or the selection, okay? Not the material, this is actually the color, okay? Material are the color. I'm gonna go very easy, just use the loose part. Okay, now it's all got separated. Now let's say you want to see your object. You don't want to see object with all the same color here. You can just go to here. Go to here, random. Yeah, there we go. It's still quite the same color, but it has a different color a little bit. I'm going to turn the cavity on. Well, not to say, but making it look cooler. It's not about cool stuff. It's just, yeah, something like that. Press 1. Right, I'm gonna hide this. If you wanna hide, then hide. I'm just gonna hide. Yes, press H to hide. Or you can just press the eyes over here. There we go. 
We select this one, right click, set the origin to the geometry. Why are we going to do that? Because we're going to mirror this. All right. Press N. Go to edit mode. Uh, if you don't have this over here, you can just go to here. There we go, the mirror. To enable this, you need to uh, tick the add-on at the setting preferences. Okay. I'm going to turn on the mi auto mirror. Okay, I'm not going to... This one again. I'm not going to mirror X here every day, okay? Or to the Y. Or to the Y, okay? Not to the Y. I'm going to mirror to the Z because I want this mirror to be up here and up here, okay? Up and down, okay? So I'm going to go to Z. Or the mirror. Press N to hide the panel. And when you use the when you use it, you should see like this. See, it mirrors from up, from the down. Okay. Now I'm gonna add few loop cuts. Two loop cuts. Put there. Scale that to the X to move those edges. Something like over there would do. And now let's add more loop cuts over here. Uh, this would do. Two loop cuts and let's add a few. Let's add more. Control R. Okay. Roll your mouse. As many as you want. Go with. I don't want to make it too much, but I need it because I'm going to select it like this. That's why I need too much of those. There's other way as well, but you can figure out what's best for you and what's you're comfortable the most, okay? Delete, face, okay? Just do something like that. Two holes, okay? Now, well, if you're satisfied, apply the mirror. Oh, make sure in object mode, control A to apply. Make sure your cursor, if you want to press control A, your cursor must be over here, okay? That's how I, that's how I apply. If you, well, kind of hard, it's, you can just, just show sure you again, you can just go to here and apply okay so i'm gonna x this because we don't need that all right first let's see if we have doubles okay we don't have doubles and let's add some solidify on it here we are increase something like that oh there's no trouble right hmm yeah, there's no trouble. I don't think I need I need that thick. So that would do. Now I'm gonna need three. Yeah, three would do. I mean four. Alright. Satisfied. Apply. Control A. Or you can just get apply. Okay. Alright, so that's our door. Bring that back. And it's almost becoming a lock. Okay. Now I'm not gonna make the uh, what do you call it? something that like this rotate that something what do you call something to open over here the edge over here we're not gonna make that because we're not gonna animate this anyway we're just gonna make it like this and make it just sit like that okay now okay and the last part I'm gonna do is the uh, what do you call the key insert key insert yes key insert hey okay, press one Shift A, add anything you like. I'm gonna use the, you can use the circle or the cylinder, okay? I'm gonna use the circle. Where's the circle? Grab that to the Z. Rotate that to the X, 90 degree. Grab that to the Y. Press, nope, not press. I'm just gonna go to edit mode. Make sure you're not in face select because if you Want to extrude face select on this is not working because it has no face at all you need to go either edge or the vertices i'm gonna go with the vertices okay press e to extrude to the y okay something like that will do okay it's up to you if you want to press f f to fill yes f to fill would do i'm not gonna do that Let's uh need something something else. Good scale. Just a little bit. Set to the Y. 
All right, set scale. You don't have to do it like this, okay? I'm just gonna <laughs> make it something maybe interesting, I believe. All right, now we're done with that part. Just press F. There we go. And if you want, you can just fill here as well. But I think I'm not gonna fill that part, okay? I'm gonna go to one. Scale it. Where should I put the key here? The keyhole. There would do. Alright, so actually we're not done. I shouldn't do that. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. There we go. Control Z again. Nope. Alright. There we go. Because what I'm gonna do is the keyholes, okay? We're gonna make a holes here. So in order to make a holes, we're gonna use a boolean. I mean, yes, we're gonna use a boolean, but we're gonna use a cube. We're just gonna make the hole, grab that to the Y, the cube, grab that to the Z, press 1, scale, scale that to the X, wait, that's way too small, scale that to the Z. Yeah, something like that will do. If you want to uh, add some shape, add some shape, it's okay, you can add them too, and don't need a scale, we'll just grab that to the Y, make sure it go up to here, okay? Now, Select this one, press N. Let's see if I remember. I'm gonna use the where's the ah, that's the boot tool over there. But in order to do that, make sure you have two objects, okay? And don't forget which one the which one is highlighted red and which one is the red, orange. Yes, it's orange. Let me try this. Boolean. Alright, alright, so it works. You make sure this one is the highlight the the main and this is the second, okay? And I'm gonna go here and we can move this around. I can move this around like this. As long as you on here, okay? The brush boolean. If you use the auto boolean, auto boolean won't let you move, okay? It just will stop where it is. So I'm gonna use the brush difference, okay? Now I'm satisfied with it. I'm just gonna go here. And I'm gonna, oh, yes, just apply it, okay? Select this one because the uh, the main was this one, and you can apply it now. So then let's apply. All right, you don't need this one anymore. This one, we don't need those empty boxes anymore. There we go. Shade smooth. If you want shade smooth, no, look at that, it looks serious. Let's use all the smooth, go to here normal or smooth okay it should look something like that all right now we can join this all together press one now all right i mean press three to go to a uh, right autographic go there bring this to grab that to the y over there zoom that a little bit grab it to the y okay i'm not gonna put it something deeper there i'm just gonna put it like that okay and this one I'm gonna scale. Scale, grab, move your mouse around to uh, go like that. Oh, I, I zoom. Okay, scale go over there. Grab, grab. Oh, oh, I'm gonna press three. Let's grab this to the Y over here. All right. Just go like that. Oh, press one. Right. Grab that a little bit over there. Okay. Now look at that. You got yourself a simple locker. Alright. You can make a few detail. I mean like something this tears. Yes, tears. One over there, one over there, 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 and there. You can make those tears if you want, okay? I'm not gonna make that because I'm not gonna open this anyway. <laughs> Um, okay, now let's go to shading it, okay? Oh, I think... <laughs> I think white looks good. But I'm not gonna use white. I'm gonna select this one, new one. Uh, what color you want? Maybe greenish, maybe reddish. Uh, brownish? No. Nope. What I saw most, usually bluish. And a little bit dark. Yeah, I think green would do. And let's apply it same 
to the door as well go to here so select that go to here if you want to apply same color to this one just go to just select this one the door go to here and select that one the color that we made for this one actually now it just look like that all right now i'm gonna mess with this one the since this is metal i'm gonna go to metal specular uh no i'm gonna decrease this one but not too much because that's way too glossy just increase that a little bit specular because we need some reflection let's make it metal all right and for this one the keyholes oh yes keyholes what did I say? Key insert. Alright, so I'm gonna press new there. And uh, the base color. I'm gonna stick with this, but the highly metal. Alright. Specular over there. Roughness. Well, we don't want to be that shiny, okay? But we want it to be that quite shiny. Yeah, something like that. Got layout mode. And this one. Oh, not that one. Hide us. And there it is, guys. There it is. That's how to model a simple, a simple lock. Okay, you can just use array and make it even more. Instead of making one by one, you can use array now. Uh, once you uh, join them all, and yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, try it yourself. I think this is quite too, this video is too long because well, I work quite very slow now. <laughs> So yeah, I'll be seeing you next time on the next tutorial. Okay now, bye bye.